Alright, Killer Clan, welcome back to Giant Foods. It's been a couple weeks since we did a Giant Foods episode. I believe the last one was the Gigantic Euro Challenge, which most of you enjoyed. But I want you to answer a question if you can. What are some of the most famous mountains you could think of? Like Mount Rushmore, the Appalachian Mountains, the Rocky Mountains, Mount Vesuvius, Mount Olympus? What about Mount Mega Meat Mountain? That's what I'm talking about. That's what we're doing today. We're going to do the Arby's Meat Mountain, the killer style. So it's going to be gigantic. So according to the meat mountain diagram I have here, we've got some chicken tenders on the bottom. There's also some bacon on the top, as you can see, right there. Meat mountain. And of course, as you can see in the picture, this sandwich is only this big. So we obviously have to make it gigantic. And we got a whole pound of bacon right here. And we also have a pound of each meat. We also have 24 slices of cheese. We got our ham, we got our turkey, we got our corned beef. Now I know what you're already thinking, where's the brisket at? I had a plan to get brisket, but it fell through. So I'm going to double the steak. So the Angus steak, I got two packages of that instead of like one. Like all giant foods, we got the King's Hawaiian one pound roll. What I think they should make is regular bread. I don't think King's Hawaiian makes regular bread, do they? Because I think that'd be delicious, like a loaf of King's Hawaiian bread. I don't think they make it. In my opinion, I think I just eat it like that because I don't like it. <laughs> you really are disgusting. I don't really like it that cooked. You never miss a trick, do you, Anderson? Look at this, Mr. Cole. This is perfect. You just put a little char on that and eat it. Gross. A little char. Cook it until it's crunchy. Listen, if you were stranded on a desert island and all you had was raw bacon, no way to cook it, would you eat? Cook it in the sun. No, no way to cook it. You can totally cook it in the sun. Throw it on a rack. All right, your legs are broken and you're stranded in a cave with no sunlight. <laughs> <laughs> and all you have is raw bacon in your pocket. Oh, are you eating? Why do I have raw bacon in my pocket? Why do you not have raw bacon in your pocket? That's what I want to know. There we go, we got the bacon. We're going in. Now we got the tenders, we got the crispy chicken tenders. This is a one and a half pound bag of chicken tenders. And I have the, um, got the chicken tender rack in there. Tender rack. Huh? Got the tender rack in there. You got this puppy right registered at 400. We're ready to cook some tenders. Cause tenders make it bendy. <laughs> No, maybe like, I don't know. Some of, sometimes when they mark stuff as tenders, like that is not a tender. That is a nugget. I'm sorry, but tender is a muddy word. All right, so our tenders are in, our bacons are in. As soon as that's done cooking, which is about 20 minutes, we'll go ahead and put this beast in. Right. A little steak for on this thing, and like I said, I don't have any brisket, but I am going to double the meat, so I got two pounds of steak in here. Alright Andrew, the snack master Kool-Aid. Dig into this King's Hawaiian bun. Like I said, these are uh, like big pillows. They're always delicious. I've never been let down by a King's Hawaiian bun. Just saying. Ever. Never once. Alright, so we got the foundation down. Got our tender coming out. Got our bacon out. The bacon is totally not cooked enough. The bacon is overcooked. Just remember that. Alright, so we got the tenders going on. Tender's going on, Andy Pool. We're all tendered up. If I'm not mistaken. After that, it looks like the turkey goes on. Yeah. 
Got the oven roasted turkey here. Got a whole big slew of that. We're gonna go ahead and start stacking the oven roasted turkey on. This is a lot of deli meat, just saying. <laughs> deli meat's hard to eat too. All right. It's really very salty. Our turkey is on. Then we got a pound of ham. Swiss cheese is cool. It's a lot of Swiss. Yeah, it is. It's a lot of Swiss cheese. This is the only way to effectively afford corned beef, honestly. This is expensive. Beef in general is expensive right now. What you should have done is left it as pucks. Is what? Left it as pucks. It falls apart. Nothing. Should have just got real steak. Should have, huh? Anderson's gonna be all about that. Skid up. <laughs> I guess we're gonna have to do it, but we're gonna have to decorate it around the edge. Decorate it. Decorate it in steak. Some people use thyme as a garnish. I use cheese baked meat as a garnish. It's like, oh, the garnish. No, you're not supposed to eat that. It's just for decoration. Yeah, this day, this is definitely me. True meat mountain. Dripping. Dude, that thing is stupid. So as you can see in the previous clips there, Mr. Pool and myself went ahead and put together the real meat mountain. Not that meat mountain that Arby sells. Arby's ain't got nothing on this. This thing is 12 pounds. Meat mountain deliciousness, including perfectly cooked rubbery bacon. And I'm gonna eat it. Nice thing about this challenge is I really don't have to let it cool down because the only thing that's really hot on it was the bacon, the steak, and the tenders, and they're spread out. They're not quite as cold as the water in this bottle from thecoldestwater.com anyways. So this is the coldest thing on the table. Use my link below, jump over there, grab yourself one of these, 21 ounces all the way up to a gallon. Use that link below, give Killer some kickback. So without further ado, let's get into this challenge. The Mega Killer Meat Mountain Challenge. Three, two, one. Meat Mountain in my mouth. Now, I, this, I don't know how this is ever gonna work, but as you can see, this thing's bigger than my face. And if I feel like if I try to eat the whole thing, it might just take my face Uh. So the best I can do for you is... Mmm. Mmm. It's 
delicious. Look at that. It's perfect. Comment below how you like your bacon. I know you already don't like it like this, but I do. Mmm. Yeah, it's good. More like this. Save some of make a sandwich. Oh, my cheddar's on top. I'm gonna save some of this to make another sandwich out. <laughs> we got some different sauces over here. I got shout out to Three House Barbecue in Hanover for the Alabama White. And also I have another fa personal favorite of mine. I got the Terry Hose Yum Yum sauce. It's also delicious. Got some cheddar cheese and roast beef here. I technically probably could have downsized this thing. Saved like a third of each layer and then made like a real size meat knife. I got my, um, I'm down to the Angus steak, which I know I don't have any um, brisket on here, but we're into a snack with the brisket, so I just doubled the steak. Steak. Blame I've also got a bunch of steak on the side. It's almost like a garnish. I need a big spoon though. <laughs> totally gonna have to wash all that silverware. Just put fingers through it. Because it all got greasy. Mmm. Yeah, it's good. Really good with that Terry Hoos sauce on it. It's like a salty challenge ever. We need a Swiss cheese. What's funny is it seems like the sandwich is disappearing, but there's still three and a half pounds of meat from here down and the bottom bun. That's legitimate. That's big. That's the biggest thing I've ever eaten, but it's big. I'm trying to think what's the biggest home challenge. Sandwich wise. Probably that Thanksgiving sub. That thing was huge. I think it was like 16 pounds. <laughs> Swiss from the Alps. Like a half a power here. <coughs> Like a half a pound of ham in my hand. Power swallow any pool today. I find dangerous. Just didn't take that big meat down his throat.
Into the last little bit of ham here, um, about nine minutes in. It's been nine minutes, I want That's not a beautiful free clip. This right here is more meat than you get on a Subway sandwich. <laughs> We're about 10 minutes and 40 seconds in, I got all the deli meat out of the way. <coughs> we got some tenders, it'll be good. Definitely be a good flavor change, I can promise you. Put out some Terry hose. I don't even know where I bought this at. Um, Sam's Club, I think. Ugh. Sam's Club, I think. I'm surprised how fast these cooled down. Oh, cool, pretty clear. Anderson says we're 11 minutes into the video. You haven't given me a piece yet. There you go. <coughs> These are hard to eat. I got a ghost in the house and door to soak myself. <laughs> See, even his dog thinks so. The regular meat mountain has um, two chicken tenders on it. This had uh, 12. Two pounds of chicken tenders. Tenders. Some of them are more like nuggets. Tenders is a strong word. <laughs> Scrap all this up on here, huh? And we're left with a regular size sandwich. Well, oh, kinda. I mean, it still probably weighs like, you know, two pounds. <coughs> Heck, maybe more than that. I might actually be able to bite this one though. Mm hmm. Yep, that's good. Bacon sandwich. Look at some of that cola, would you? Any cool? Throw it in that cup.
Doesn't matter. Have an Andy Pool. I'm <clears throat> the water boy. Hook me up with some beverage. I use lots of fluids to go sodium now. You're drinking more sodium with this? More sodium with some diet soda, but we're keeping calories down. What do you think about it? Speaking of calories, I don't know how many calories in this. A lot. I'm just went from a meat mountain to a Philly cheesesteak. <laughs> That's almost like sandwichception. There's a sandwich within a sandwich. I forgot to take that cannon battery out, it's about dead. <coughs> oh well, let's just accelerate. Twenty four fifty seven. Wow, that's a lot of meat. All right, Killer Clan. So that was the uh, killer version size of the Mega Meat Mountain in just under twenty five minutes. The ten plus pound monster. All the fixins. I even had cheesesteak meat as a garnish. Where else are you gonna get cheesesteak meat as a garnish besides right here on this channel? And speaking of this channel, if you haven't subscribed yet, consider subscribing and like the video. It helps me out tremendously. This is a place to find gigantic challenges and some guy crazy enough to eat them all. It's right here and it's free. Follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter at the Killer Kennedy. And until next time, get yourself a meat mountain from Arby's. Just one meat mountain. Don't don't try to build this mega meat mountain and eat it because I don't know, your heart starts to speed up from all the sodium and <clears throat> you have to be alive to come watch these videos. Take it easy.